Lots of impolite animosity at President Biden's State of the Union address last night. Some right-wing Republicans jeering the president. But the negativity wasn't just between parties. U.S. Senator, Republican Senator Mitt Romney, got into a verbal brawl with a rookie Republican congressman who could be Romney's ethical opposite. Scandalized Congressman George Santos from Long Island said Santos about Romney, it wasn't very Mormon of him. Here's Long Island reporter Shantae Lyons. Embattled Congressman George Santos once again thrusted in the center of controversy, this time for standing at the center aisle on the House floor, seemingly positioning himself in a prime location for President Biden's State of the Union address. But before the speech, cameras captured a verbal scuffle between the Long Island freshman rep and Utah Senator Mitt Romney. He reportedly told Santos, you don't belong here. Santos claiming he fired back, calling Romney the A-word. I think it's reprehensible that the senator would say such a thing to me in the demeaning way he said. It wasn't very Mormon of him. That's what I can tell you. Given the fact that he's under ethics investigation, he should be sitting in the back row and staying quiet instead of uh, parading in front of the uh, president and, uh, and, and people coming into the room. Romney is among the highest ranking Republicans to call out Santos amid the federal and state investigations into his campaign finances and for his lies. Senator Romney um, expressed to George uh, what many people are probably thinking. A fellow Long Island Republican rep Anthony D. Esposito, like Santos, attended his first State of the Union as a member of Congress. But unlike Santos, D. Esposito has been publicly meeting with his constituents in District 4. He took this photo showing every New York freshman Republican rep, except Santos. George Santos is a sociopath, and he, at this point, I think is actually enjoying all of the media coverage. And Congressman D. Esposito has already called on Santos to resign. Keep in mind, this all happened yesterday, the same day that a busload of his constituents arrived in D.C. and went to his office door in D.C. to deliver a petition for his removal. He did not meet with them.